In this episode of The Design Tourist, I travel to Mendocino, California. I've come to the Redwood Forest and the Pacific Coastline to press the reset button on my life. This is an intentional escape from the chaos of daily life. It's a chance to unplug from distractions and be fully present in the beauty, serenity, and soul-soothing experiences of the region. the San Francisco airport and make the two and a half hour drive north along cliff rimmed coast through redwood forest passing rolling vineyards and orchards and cannabis farms. This scenic drive puts me in the right state of mind. My trip to Mendocino is about restoring, recharging, reconnecting with my mind, my soul, and my body. I'm headed to the Brewery Gulch Inn along Highway 1 and I'm on the lookout for its iconic water tower announcing the entrance. The Brewery Gulch Inn sits on a bluff overlooking the Pacific coast surrounded by forest. I chose the inn for its wellness retreats to help me achieve my goal to reset and rebalance. Okay, so today is all about restoring, recharging, a little, little self-love, and I am going to spend the day with health and wellness expert, Sarah Bassendell. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So she's a whole day planned, a day of <laughs> wellness for me, and it starts right here on the deck at the Brewery Gulch and with a herbal tea that you've custom mixed for me yes. based on my health intake. Yes. So tell me about yeah. that. Yeah. So. This tea, I mean, really kind of one of the top things that you brought up was to kind of work with stress. Stress is the top takeaway from my answers to a health intake questionnaire Sarah sent me asking about my lifestyle habits. I'll admit, I was a bit embarrassed to answer honestly. I drink way too much coffee, uh, perhaps too much wine. I don't eat much, definitely not a well-balanced diet. My sleep routine is non-existent and my stress and anxiety levels run at a constant high. Sarah has her work cut out for her. So we chat and we sip an herbal tea that she custom mixed for me from ingredients she grows on her property. It really made me think. And the common theme in my intake form was stress. I. I feel like I am constantly battling stress and with stress comes anxiety and that is really where my focus lies. It's an area of my life I'd like to improve. So what I'm going to kind of go through today is a lot of different suggestions and options and just a little bit more awareness of different body systems, body types of how we can kind of help our body, you know, reset our nervous system and help with stress. Perfect. We head to the Zen Hut on the property of the Brewery Gulch Inn to work on achieving greater body awareness and reset my nervous system. Sarah will lead me through a series of techniques to align my mind, my body, and my soul for clarity and well-being. We start with breath work, simple breathing techniques to help calm the nervous system, reduce stress, improve sleep, and increase energy. Sarah guides me through vibrational breathing, making sounds and vocalizations that support the vagus nerve. It's a cranial nerve connected to immune and stress response, digestion, mood, and it influences our overall sense of well-being. Take a nice, slow, deep inhale through the nose down into the belly. As you exhale, exhale with the lips closed, humming together. Next, we move into energy medicine techniques, and I learned that we have energy lines running through our body, connected to different organs, including the triple warmer meridian, an energy line that acts as an umbrella holding together our nervous system. Blocked energy creates tension, stress, and anxiety. 
so we do stretches and movements to release the blocked energy. I learned that by tapping different points in my body, I can energize and reduce stress to calm the triple warmer meridian. I also massage and trace energy lines to help strengthen and restore harmony and balance back to my mind, my body, and my soul. We drop into a meditation practice with movement, breath work, and visualization to reground my body and support my nervous system, bringing a sense of peace. We end our session with a sound bath, an ancient technique used by many cultures to remove energy blockages and reduce stress. Sarah bathes me in sound by playing various instruments that emit certain vibrational frequencies known to soothe and reset the nervous system. She explains that sound through instruments create harmonic patterns in the body that restore and regenerate the cells. When we are stressed, our energy lines run parallel, making us feel heavy and exhausted. When our energy flows, it spirals in a circular movement. Sound and vibration help bring spiral movement into our body to rebalance. So here's my takeaway. Self-care, that buzzy word, seemed self-indulgent to me. It seemed like spoiling myself meant taking time from other essential tasks and responsibilities. But I'm learning to embrace self-care as an essential practice, deserving the same priority as work deadlines and personal obligations. Sarah shows me how to incorporate breath work and meditation to support my nervous system and how to bring minerals into balance to improve my well-being and increase my vitality. Up next, I head into the Redwood Forest to continue my wellness work with forest bathing. My day of restorative wellness continues with a meditation hike through Van Damme State Park in a practice known as forest bathing. The Japanese in the 80s decided to do some research on the healing benefits of nature because they saw a huge shift in their society with stress and um, anxiety and all of that. Mm -hmm. So. With this research, which I'll go over in just a minute, they kind of coined this term forest bathing, Shinrin-yoku, which just translates to taking in the forest atmosphere. So really what forest bathing is all about is about immersing yourself in nature in a mindful way, engaging your senses, slowing down, and just allowing that connection with nature and yourself, like mm -hmm. reconnecting that relationship. So basically, um, we're going to give this as a little offering to these trees, to this forest, and just kind of um, welcoming in our energy, letting them know that we're here and that we're ready to experience and witness their, their beauty, their magic, their wisdom, and their healing benefits. So I'll just give a little offering here to this redwood tree, to this forest. We arrive to a large stump and drop into our first meditation. Just take a moment to let your fingers, your skin run over the object, touch the object, and just connect in with how that feels. It could be multiple objects, just playing around with how the forest floor or the tree, the bark of the tree feels. Forest bathing is a way back to myself as I breathe in the fresh air and smell the scents of the forest, soaking up the colors and feeling the earth's energy. As we walk, our bodies entrain or attune to the vibrations of the earth, a healing, restorative frequency that calms the nervous system. Earth vibrates at 7.83 hertz. Okay. So this vibration is also a really healing, restoring, regenerative vibration. Along our hike, we stop to admire this old growth stump. The tree is gone. It's hollowed out and it's burnt, but yet it's still giving life to the forest. And 
this right here just crystallizes my entire forest bathing experience. For me, this hollowed out old growth stump, I feel its life force. The stump is my cue to venture off by myself and explore the forest to reflect on my meditations and feel what I'm feeling emotionally and physically. I'll return when I hear Sarah playing the flute. Welcome back. Thank you. How was your experience? It was um, magical. Yeah. It was um, soul moving. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel refreshed, recharged, um, but more importantly, I, th I just feel at peace. Yeah. There's like a peace that washes over me mm -hmm. being out here. So thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, with your, your guidance, I mean, you were really able to put me in touch with the forest in a way that all my senses were, were firing and that I was connected mentally emotionally and spiritually so thank you you're so welcome and these trees thank you too i mean they do all the work really <laughs> you know it's just like they really hold such a beautiful presence so i know that they're happy that we were able to do this experience too so thank you so much up next we explore brewery gulch in Brewery Gulch Inn sits on a bluff overlooking the Mendocino coast and borders 48,000 acres of meadows and redwoods. The arts and crafts style inn connects guests with the land and locals through its cuisine, decor, and artwork. Uh, Brewery Gulch Inn was completed in 2001. Um, and all built out of beautiful old redwood sinker wood that is pretty hard to find here on the coast. You have to dive down deep into the rivers to pull it out and they don't let you do that anymore. So these days you have to buy it from somebody who did it way back when. I wake up looking forward to the cooked to order breakfast menu of locally grown organic ingredients served in the great room and on the outdoor deck. In the evening, guests gather around the fireplace for happy hour and they pick up their redwood bento boxes with appetizers. The inn does a great job creating a cozy, inviting ambiance that sparks conversations and fosters new friendships. For us, it sort of felt like staying at a very uh, luxurious, amenity-rich summer camp. So right. like, we, we had our dinner out on the deck. We met new friends. We yes. we gravitated towards a fire pit mm -hmm. and had a little campfire right. uh, with, with our new friends and had some wine and shared some laughs and conversation. Yeah. And it's an experience that you typically wouldn't get in standard accommodations or a hotel. Right. And I think that's the gift that you give here. We really pride ourselves on the um, Again, the intimate experience, the personal touches, mm. um, and al allowing guests to feel at home, getting what they need, and as far as their stay goes, but it also as far as conversation and uh, area information, things like that. And so I say goodbye to my stay at the Brewery Gulch Inn and my trip to Mendocino County. I return to the real world, restored, rejuvenated, and inspired. Until the design tourist travels again, Stay curious and stay inspired.